Hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, I think it looks like we are here. Um, well, this is, the, is going to be the introduction to the ProBI Summer School 2022. I am uh, Luigi Acerbi, and over there, Arto Clami. And first of all, really welcome. We are, we are really happy that you, you made it here, that we are here, that we, we made it. And we really hope you will enjoy this, this week. So we have this uh, hour. So the first, let's say, 15 minutes, I will uh, bore you with practicalities and some organization details. And then Arto will pick up the most interesting part. Yeah, there is some echo. OK, is it better? OK. <laughs> And, uh, and then Arthur will tell you more about what, you know, what all, this is all about, you know, what's probabilistic AI. And which maybe, you know, hopefully you kind of know a little bit before we apply it, but let's say, you know, he will actually tell you what it's about. Okay, but you know, before we start, okay, we need to cover the most important human need and you know what it is, and that's Wi-Fi. And please, please, if you have a working EduRoom account, use that. Uh, because say, it's better, faster, it has more capacity. And if that doesn't work, as sometimes Edurom does, uh, so you can use Probe AI 2022. And with the base 2022, how, how original, and the password. And uh, so, yeah, but really try Edurom first, because say, the other one has less capacity. So if everybody uses that one, uh, it's going to be very, I mean, even slower. Okay. Um, we have a code of conduct that I hope you read. And uh, you know, say if you haven't carefully, please go uh, later to this uh, page on the probabilistic AI website attendees. And let's say because it's important that we say we all uh, agree and follow this code of conduct, which you know essentially summarizes as be welcoming and supportive, be respectful and keep a good tone, collaborate, let's say, with uh, with the other participants and uh, share your knowledge. And also, of course, let's say be respectful of personal boundaries. We, we come from many different countries, different cultures. So let's say, so be respectful. COVID-19, yes, I mean, uh, we, we need to have this light. So all of you should have received a mask uh, at registration. And please uh, wear a mask uh, if you cannot uh, keep, let's say, some distance. Uh, I know, let's say, it looks like things are getting better, but let's say, you know, there are still some residuals. I, for example, I got some emails from people that couldn't attend today because they got COVID. Uh, so let's say, so it's still around. Let's try not to have an outbreak. It would then be very good. Uh, so please uh, be mindful. Uh, I have my mask here. Now I'm kind of far away. So, but usually uh, you will always see me wearing the mask while I walk around. And please, let's say, do so when you're in close contact. And... Clean your hands, wash your hands. There are sanitizers around, and let's say we will be sure to have more. Um, and so if you have some light symptoms, actually we have uh, some tests. I'm really happy to hear all this noise because I know that you know, people are putting the mask on. I'm, I'm really glad, and I really appreciate that. I know it's, it can be a bit annoying. I know, let's say, you know, it's, uh, you know, it can be a bit bothersome, but let's say it's really mindful of you that you're doing that, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And anyways, I was saying we have some tests. So let's say, so if you feel have some, some symptoms, uh, light symptoms, uh, we can ask us for tests, any stuff, and we can give you some tests. You can try. Uh, again, just you know, to avoid uh, potential issues. And if you have obvious symptoms that you always test positive, that's unfortunate. But I say, I really ask you, you know, be mindful and you, know, you have to self-isolate, which is sad. But as I said, they say, some people contacted me already. Unfortunately, they say they had to skip the, the school because of COVID. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, we have a Slack. Many of you already joined. Uh, this is a Slack for students, and some of the TAs and some of us are going to be there. So please join. Uh, we have separate uh, channels for each one of the room of the days, and you can essentially ask questions. Of course, I say you can ask say questions to us in uh, in person, but I say sometimes you know you might just drop a question there. Some other people can answer other other students or some TAs. 
how to contact us Oof, a lot of ways so let's say so first of all hey we are in person let's say i, I know that you know this is amazing like we are here in person I, you know it's been like i don't know how many years i forgot uh so so yeah we are here so you can actually talk to us and that's great and you cannot so we have this uh oops we are we have these uh badges and they are differently colored from let's say from the other ones so let's say so we have yeah the yellow band so let's say so you can ask this yeah we have where there are tas who also have this this badge and they have TA written on it. So say you can ask us questions. Um, if you want to contact us also for other let's say things that are more general questions, uh, you can use hello, which many of you already used uh, our email. Uh, there is this luck. Um, if you have something let's say more urgent or important, etc. Also, we will be monitoring both our email address and these. There is an anonymous online form. Let's say if you have something more important to report that let's say you want to let us know. Um, if there is any, for example, you know, violation of the conduct that you feel like needs to be reported, please do so, and we'll take that seriously. And also, let's say Arto is here, so let's say he's our let's say omb ombuds person. Yeah, I can't pronounce that, but anyways. So if there is anything that you would like to report, either you know from our students or even staff, let's say just please go to Arto and and report this, and you know we we'll take any let's say report seriously. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on this week, like a lot. Um, so I'm not going to go through it in detail, but let's say there are a few points that I, I want to be sure you're aware of. Uh, so anything, so go to the website, uh, the program page. It keeps being updated, like literally it was updated probably last time, you know, a few hours ago. And so let's say, so go and check. There are more details that help you. And but I say just briefly, so we have lunch. Lunch is included. You got, so if you, if you go to your, let's say, name badge, say badge there are um, lunch tickets uh, in it, if you didn't realize. Uh, wow. Uh, so you, you can go to lunch at this unique cafe Chemicum, which is not this building. It's another building. And, you know, well, people will direct you if you don't know where it is. Uh, it's just nearby. And one very important thing, let's say with this ticket, okay, you can get any lunch from the li line, but I've been told you that it's very important that you can get coffee or fruit. And let's say, so... Actually, that's an XOR. So let's say, so it's not, you know, it's either or. So let's say, so either coffee or fruit. Okay, one of the two. And very importantly, you cannot have dessert. Okay, this is very important. And uh, so don't, don't, don't mess this up. And in the sense that, you know, the, I mean, you can have it if you want, but it's not covered by the, by the ticket. Uh, okay, I, I hope that's clear. Going on. Nothing. Uh, yes, we have coffee breaks. So let's say coffee will be served also in the morning, and then we have coffee breaks in the afternoons. And well, yeah, you will find them outside the same spot probably where, where they're now. Um, so just to say that, say, so in the morning there will be coffee, but let's say there is no breakfast, so there is no food. So let's say, so we, we just serve coffee. And the coffee breaks in the afternoons might have, maybe they have some fruit or something, but let's say again, you know, don't expect much. Um, Oh, poster sessions. So let's say, so you should be aware that there are poster sessions, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday. So if you have a poster, well, uh, you should know by now where you've been allocated. If there is any issue, just contact us. And Walter Wotila, I don't know if he's here around. So he's the, po yes, over there. <laughs> he just appeared. Hey. And uh, so let's say, so he's the poster session organizer. So if there is any, you know, any question you have, essentially just, you know, ask him. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, so put up your posters, let's say, at some point during the day, say, because, you know, you, there's only one hour for the poster session. So say, so have your post already up by 5.30. So at any of the breaks, you can put it up. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, one thing I want to mention, let's say, uh, to make things more interesting, not all lectures are going to be in this room, but let's say we decide to keep, you know, things uh, more varied. And uh, so that's not the reason, of course. Uh, but let's say, so there is another room. So let's say on Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, there will be reminders. But say just, so the lecture is not going to be here, but in another room in this building, just to, so that you're aware. So there's going to be actually another thing going on here. So let's say just, you know, I will try to redirect you to the right place. But let's say just kind of keep this in mind for just for Wednesday morning and Thursday morning. Whew, uh, Wednesday evening, there is a banquet dinner. This is going to be in a building. It's a nice uh, university building and in the center of town. Uh, so you need to get there. Uh, it starts at 7 and it ends uh, at 9.30. It says 10, but that's not true. It ends at 9.30. And then we, we actually need to move and say to get out of the building by 10. At uh, the 10, they close the door. Whether inside, just you know, get stuck inside. And um, okay, uh, you know, that happens. Um, Okay, yes, uh, PhD course. Some of you are registered to the some PhD course uh, at NTNU. So this is a special session 
only for the people who are registered to that thing. Uh, so it's on Thursday in the morning before the actual lecture. So you should, you should come here a bit earlier. I ate 15. Anyways, you should probably know already about that, but just as a reminder. Final thing for today. Uh, so tonight or this evening, there is this event, uh, say, uh, reception sponsored by Unity Technologies. We are dividing two groups because essentially, so what, what it is, it's a, it's a visit to the Unity Technology uh, offices. Uh, these, these offices say, don't have capacity for 150 people, so we need to split into groups. Um, one group goes at six, the other group goes at eight. This uh, Unity Technology is in the center of town, in front of the station. Uh, we will go there. Uh, one very important thing, uh, so when you register now, the, the person should have asked you if you wanted to go with the group at six, group one or group A, or with the group at eight, which is group two or group B. If for any reason, you know, this didn't happen and you haven't been asked which group you, you know, you wanted to, uh, to go to, right at the end of these hours, let's say after Arthur's talk, go back to registration and say, oh, hey, I know if you want to do so, let's say, ask them that you want to go to this event because we need to tell Unity Technology exactly who is going, okay? So if you don't tell them, uh, we don't tell them this lot, uh, well, you cannot enter the, the building, okay? So let's say, so we need to do that. And... Um, Oops, yes, so this was uh, the slide. Uh, so one group will go straight after the lectures, and the other one essentially, so since it goes later, we also have organized some social event, which you may or may not attend, organized by Sardana. Uh, I don't know if Sardana is here, otherwise, well, she'll be around at some point later. Um, so again, uh, to go to Unity Technology, also after you've done this, you also will re receive at some point today an email from them telling you, hey, you want to come? You know, yeah, you, you, know, you say, yeah, yeah. You say, you need to answer that thing. And uh, ans after you answer to that, finally, this gives you access to the, say, to their studios, uh, to their offices. And I know I say it's, it, it is a bit Byzantine, and it is, but let's say, you know, that's how it needs to go. And so let's say, so please remember to do all these steps. So you already chose a spot. Good. You will receive an email from Unity Technologies. Uh, answer again, say that you want to go. They were asking for, for your picture, probably do that. And then finally, you have access to their uh, offices. Okay. Now, some stats. Sorry, how am I doing with time? Okay. All right. So we had a huge amount of applications, like uh, 775. And unfortunately, we could only accept 150 people due to the capacity, say, of these rooms, the other rooms, say, in general. So there was about a 19% acceptance rate. And this was a very, very difficult choice. So we say we had to review all, all your applications. And of course, let's say, you know, you've been the, the lucky ones and you're here. And we're very happy that you're here. Of course, I said there were a lot of people who were extremely valid and we still couldn't manage you know, to, to get them in. We are sad about that. Uh, we hope, let's say, we can increase the capacity. But also, let's say, there is, you know, that's kind of the cost to having an event in person. Uh, you know, there, is, there is a trade-off. So we're a bit sad, sad of course, that you know, we had to leave some people out. We are very happy that, you know, that you're here. And of course, say, there's been some luck uh, involved in the fact that, yes, everybody's here. So you know, just to say that uh, we are happy that we managed to make it. And we're sad that you know, other people couldn't make it today. Affiliation. So let's say, so most of you are students in the sense that other, say there are a few master students here and uh, most of you are PhD students. Then there is a say, but you know, we want to be inclusive in the sense that uh, you know, we, there are also people from, say for other from academia so who are postdocs or even some professors. And to say, you know, there is some people from industry because it's good that, you know, we keep, let's say, communication with people from industry. And that's about, you know, again, so say 13% industry, 13%, let's say, uh, more senior, more advanced academics, and the rest, let's say, 75% mostly students. Okay, so this is uh, where you come from in terms, essentially, which country you probably flew in from or, you know, or arrived or walked in from. And um, so, as you can see, let's say, it's, uh, we try to really, uh, you know, spread out and uh, have people from all over the world. Of course, let's say we manage to a degree in the sense that ideally we would like to see in the future even more in say, you know, red or color um, countries on, uh, on this map. Um, of course, there are also people from Europe, uh, some people let's say from, of course, from the States, North America, and by, you know, uh, I'm glad that you know we managed to fly in some people from let's say from South America and say from, from Asia, but let's say hopefully let's say we'll, this will increase even more. And if you notice that you're, being, you're missing here, uh, sorry about that. Let's say I'm not sure that I use a completely up-to-date map. So in which case, you know, oops, uh, my fault. And um, 
Okay, finally, let's say, of course, you know, after this, I have to do this. I mean, actually, I'm really glad to do this because let's say, first of all, you know, we couldn't have a school if we didn't have lecturers. So let's say, I'm really glad and want to thank, you know, all the lecturers, some of which, some of whom are, are here nowadays, now already. And some of, you know, some of them will join us uh, later during the week. And of course, let's say, you know, many thanks to them. And, you know, we're extremely grateful. Otherwise, you know, uh, no lecturer, no school. And, um, then we want also to thank, uh, let's say, well, the organizing terms of the institutions that helped us uh, make this a reality. So let's say, you know, our host, university, University of Helsinki, and then various organizations that helped us make this happen, FKI, the Norwegian Open AI Lab, and NTNU. And we also want to say, want to thank our gold sponsors who actually, you know, gave us some finances to, to make this happen, Nokia Bell Labs and uh, Unity Technologies. And then let's say I need to spend a few words to thank they say the the ProBI team who really like you know help every every everything happen and you know they, they made the magic happen and uh, you've been interacted with probably uh, many of these people and you know, we, we will interact with them uh, during the week they've been doing an amazing job I'm um, you know I'm I'm really 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 happy with this team and let's say you can see their their faces of well, almost all of them uh, there. And, uh, and then let's say, of course, you know, not all of them, let's say, I, I say could uh, stay on the slides. So let's say, you know, there, there are many other people actually, you know, helped a little bit. And yeah, I'm, again, thank you so much, all of you. Let's say this, of course, would not have happened without you. I'm incredibly grateful. And let's say, and particular thank, let's say, to, to Tarek and Elisir, uh, who are here. Let's say at least Tarek is here, and Elisir was here somewhere. And uh, thank you, guys. Let's say they, they started ProBI a few years ago, and we are really happy that you know we managed to bring it here to Helsinki. And I think that's it, actually, because I click, but nothing happens. So, which means that I, I got to the end of my slides, and I'm handing over to Arto, who actually has you know a lot of interesting stuff to say about probabilistic AI. And thank you again. Like it's a it's a pleasure and an honor. Thank you.